You absolute bloody legends. Welcome back to another episode of Fat Chat. Uh, I'm super excited because I have got a guest with me today that is having a uh, fantastic year. He's having a few weeks off right now. He's got a little bit of an injury that he's working on, but gee, he's uh, slotted in at, into Essendon absolutely beautifully. He was playing for Port Adelaide last year. I uh, was lucky enough to work with him uh, over the uh, the preseason when he was in Perth for a few weeks. Always good fun training together. Um, and uh, I'm super excited to hear how everything's been going in his new club. Please welcome Xavier Dersma. How are you, mate? Yes, very good. Thank you, mate. How are you? Good, good, good. How's uh, how's everything been? How's the week? Yeah, yeah, it's been uh, it, it's been good. I'm loving loving my time so far uh, at Bombers. It's been it's been fantastic um, as a, as a whole so far. But yeah, the week's been uh, it's been a little bit of a slow week for me, unfortunately. Uh, as as you kind of mentioned just before, uh, I've done I've, I've torn my quad a little bit, so uh, I've I've already been out for about two and a bit weeks now, and Hopefully, be back uh, around the just after our bye, which is uh, the the West Coast game. So hopefully, right. I'll be right for that and good to go for that one. Beautiful. And like, how did you actually do it? Like, what what's the last couple of weeks look like for you with everything? Oh well, I, I had no tightness, no soreness, nothing like that. I've never done a quad before or anything. And then uh, just in just in training, mate, I was. Uh, just I I got the ball I'd handballed it and I just it was in like a like a game sort of simulation drill, and I'd gone to change direction inside fifty to to try to kind of plant my foot and change direction to go and kick a goal, and on the plant of my left left leg I uh, it just all of a sudden just my quad went oh. I felt like a big rip felt a big rip through my quad oh. uh, in my rec fem so. Yeah, really, really, really frustrating, and that's a big muscle to do as well. That's a massive muscle to tear. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's uh, it's not ideal, and it's you know, it sucks. But yeah, that's just it is what it is. And yeah, so it's about six weeks. I had there's a little bit of tendon stuff there as well, which is why it's taken yeah the extra couple of weeks. But um, yeah, the 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 good thing is that I uh, I'll hopefully be back for the West Coast game, and then push on to the last to the last bit of the year and hopefully finals as well. Yeah, that's great. So obviously you're building yourself back up over the next, you know, like you said, four or five weeks. What is yep. that sort of rehab looking like? There's obviously, you know, no running. Is it just sort of off leg stuff that you're doing? Um, yep. Is it just skills work, touch stuff? What are you doing? Yeah, so the first initial couple of days was all uh, off legs type of stuff. So um, upper body cross trains, um, just upper body gym, things like that. Just Which we to, love. Just we not... just love upper body gym, though. That's they're the best. Yeah, days. correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've done we've done a couple of very good uh, upper body gym sessions, uh, haven't we, body? Uh, body magic. So <laughs> I reckon some of that, some of my uh, you gave me, I reckon one of my hardest ones. I reckon last year, one of those first times. Mm, yeah, the year, yeah. In the last yep. off season, there was a, but, we, uh, we, that we one. Did. That one. Probably broke me. I reckon that yeah, first ride video. That was pretty rough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was uh, that yeah. was a bit of air bike and inv- there was a salt bike involved with that. There was a lot of chin ups involved with that one. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jared, Jared killed me then, but uh, yeah. So that was uh, that was what that was similar to what we're doing there. Like I did that in the first couple of first couple of days, uh, and now I was able to progress to running. So I've been running for about a week and a half now, which is good. Um, and it's just been like a lot of it was slow walk jogs. Um, and just, just starting to build up. So now I'll be running tempo running and uh, hopefully a little bit of um, six plus meters running by tomorrow, which would be good. Uh, probably not much of it, but just a, the intro, intro to it, uh, right. which would be good. And then from there, it's just more progressions again. So the next week or two will be more of that with hopefully some more kicking and some more game-like movements, um, change of direction and planting again. So doing those same movements of how I did it will hopefully just slowly build it up again. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, you, then, wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to kick or anything at the moment, right? No, I can't kick on my left. So it's, I'm I'm lucky that it's on my left, so I can't kick on my left, but I can still do uh, plenty of touch and plenty of kicking on my right, just stationary kicking on my right. So I can still do that, which is good. Uh, we've got to try and find the little positives here and there. Yeah. Um, and that's that's one of them, um, is that I can still kick on my right and still do plenty of touch. So that's what I've been able to do as well. Uh, and then, yeah, just from, from here, the next week or two is, is just basically progressions to be able to go and train again um, and then hopefully by... Uh, the, the fourth and fifth week, I can I can be 
integrated back into training and then onwards from there. So fantastic. Yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like as my uh, yeah my rehab process. You sound pretty up like up and about about it all, which is really good because like you know I guess there's two ways that you can go with having any sort of injury and being someone that uh, is so uh, active and your whole job is to you know in be in physically good shape that you can either be yeah. one of two things. I'm sure there probably has been ups and downs with that. I'm sure as every injury has, but what yeah. do you kind of do to keep yourself positive and you know just working through the rehab like what you're doing? Um, yeah, well, as you said there, there's definitely ups and downs. Like the initial probably four days, four, four or five days, I was, yeah, I was, I was really devastated. Um, I, I felt like I'd been doing a lot of things right. Um, I felt like my preparation and my, and my whole, um, football kind of life so far has been really elite, especially this year. I think I've taken it to, an, to another level in terms of definitely. that. And I was really just kind of devastated that, um, you know, my body let me down um, in, in that way where of, of an action that I've done thousands of times before. Um, so, yeah, I was obviously really devastated there. Um, but I've just tried to – I've had a couple of good chats with um, the club psychologists um, and then just being around the training and stuff, training track. The boys have been fantastic. Um, it just, you know, makes me feel included. Um, they've been getting around me lots of training. And, um, and, you know, that obviously helps a fair bit. And then as well, like the, the medical staff at the Bombers have been fantastic too. They're, they're doing a great job of um, giving me a really clear roadmap of what it was going to look like for me um, and then, you know, the way to progress myself back. So with, with all that stuff in place, it's helped me, um, you know, kind of get out of the devastation feeling. And, you know, I can still – obviously, like I'm a I'm human, I'm going to be feeling good some days and some days not as well. Um, but at the same time, like I've been able to – pull myself together and then um, get myself with a good goal of getting back to the West Coast game without missing a beat and, um, yeah, hopefully just continue my form on from there. No, I love it. I love it. And uh, you touched on it sort of at the start of the app and, and a little bit throughout there as well. But I had Nick Martin on uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, he yeah. was telling us, obviously, uh, Essendon this year just really leveling everything up and on field stuff, off field stuff, everything. It looks like it's all just trending beautifully in the right direction. This obviously being your first year, um, yeah. and one of the new guys that have uh, you know come in and made such an impact and um, you know really changed how everything's uh, you know going for them, which has been awesome to see. What's the feeling like when you you know rocked up first day, but then also how the season has been progressing with seeing the improvement and sort of seeing all that result and everybody come together and um, you know being ha- having a really really positive start as a club yeah I, I, you're right it has been it has been a really positive start it's been really exciting um there's been a, a really big body of work throughout the pre season like every club like it's a very cliche answer but um there was a really good body of work that we put in through our mental capacity and our and our our club psychologists and and brad scott we, we really doubled down in that area um in terms of our our resilience and our our process focus when we're in games um so far that seems to have been you know we're getting we're trying not to focus on results because we're that's the it can be a bad mindset when we're focusing on results instead of the way we're actually getting you know doing the right things and getting there um in terms of process but in you know obviously we're we're trying to do our best in terms of that stuff and so far we've been giving um you know good confirmation that we're doing we're on the right track and um yeah it's been been really exciting so far i'm loving being at the performers um, the boys have been fantastic. There's some great leaders at the club that have been helping drive that um, with Andy McGrath, Zach Merritt. Um, Dyson Heppel has been fantastic at that as well. So with some really good guys like that, um, it obviously really helps breed, um, you know, breed a, a really positive and um, professional environment. And I think that that's been probably the best I've seen at an AFL level so far in my you know, first six, eight, six to nine months. That I've been here. It's been absolutely outstanding, and you know that's the challenge for us is now to continue that. So, yeah, um, with a couple of couple of more weeks until our buy is hopefully the boys can t- continue that, um, and then yeah, we go again for that last part of the year. I love it. And like personally yourself, so obviously you're at Port Adelaide last year, you got traded in the off season, just gone. So what did, you know, what, what, what are you feeling personally? Because like at Port, you were sort of like a little bit in and out the team. You're just sort of trying to find you, you know, your right spot and, and all that sort of thing, but didn't quite get, I guess, the opportunity to do that consistently versus you come on over to Essendon and, um, you know, you, you, you know, straight obviously worked really hard and, and, and into the team, but sort of really solidifying your spot and your role. And that must just, 
just personally feel really nice to be able to get some consistency with it. And then it's obviously translating into results because you've had some unbelievable games, the bow and arrows being out and, uh, you know, <laughs> kicking beautiful snags and all that sort of stuff. It must be feeling good personally as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at Port, I was probably, I was playing pretty much every week apart from being injured. Um, I had one year where I was kind of, I was carrying in 2022, I was carrying a really bad shoulder the whole year, which uh, didn't really help me at all. Uh, And then I've played, apart from that, I've pretty much played every week where I wasn't injured or wasn't coming back from an injury. Um, And I had had a role there at Port at playing on the wing, but it was, it was sometimes very difficult uh, when, you know, obviously, it can be difficult when you're coming back from injury all the time. You haven't had haven't had great form. Like with last year with my knee, it was really it was really difficult to come back from uh, with a PCL knee. I could barely jump, could barely do anything like that. So it makes it really really tough. And then also had hip flexor tendonitis as well uh, at the back end of the year, which also like uh, makes it incredibly tough to run um, at a consistent time. So there was there was a, there was a few things going on which. Uh, at port with in terms of my body that was was making it quite difficult um but at the same time you know as you said this then may like it's been really really exciting so far with the bombers um that they've been they've been really embracing what my strengths are um and those are my running my capacity to get um, up and down the ground and then help in defense and, and then also get on the end of a couple of goals down the other end as you said um it's been fun to to play at some you know massive games with um on anzac day um, playing in Marvel a lot. I love playing at Marvel. It's a it's a great great stadium to play in. You get perfect conditions every time. So, so that's good. Always, yeah, no wind. Always, always good for always good for a winger mate that needs the ball to uh, <laughs> to, to, to zing around. Um, but yeah, like you know, it's it, those those little things there also make a difference. And the way that we've been playing has been um, suiting some of my, my style of play and what you know bringing my strengths into what can help help us play well. So um, you know that's as just, as you kind of said like the things marrying up really well there um and also the boys are playing fantastically so uh we just got to keep uh keep our form going and uh, and then yeah as, as kind of said before is not get caught up in results and, and just try and keep doing what we've been doing definitely and you mentioned uh, anzac day so like what is that like to play in front of that many people because like you know at, at port you obviously would have been playing in front of big crowds there like what 40 40, 50, they get some games? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I think, yeah, some of the biggest games at Adelaide Oval, you get probably 50, so... Yeah. And that's a, that's a small that's a small crowd for the MCG, so... Which is crazy, yeah. right? And then, like, <laughs> Essendon are pulling that, you know, most pre, pre, pretty much every week. doesn't yeah. matter who you play, yeah. and then it, it's only up Correct. from there. So, like, well, what does that feel like to go from, <laughs> you know, that, that, that next level up with the crowd and the, and the bars yeah. and the atmosphere and everything? Is it crazy? Oh, it's, it's it's incredible, mate. I think, you know, my first game that I played for the Bombers was against the Hawks at the MCG, and uh, and that was 70-something thousand, and that was already the biggest crowd that I've ever played in front of. So That's crazy. Uh, it, that was, yeah, incredible, uh, incredible. The Bombers fans, the Bombers faithful are amazing. You know, it's been fantastic to be able to play in front of them. And then, as I said, Anzac Day, it was, it was kind of an out-of-body experience. Um, like when the planes fly over the top, like I can't scare the shit out of me, but um, <laughs> as well as obviously the last post, I got tingles, full body tingles as well. Um, as well when the crowd pops just after that, like it's, there's, there's things there that being able to um, experience, like I'm incredibly lucky and incredible, incredibly so grateful cool. to be able to have experienced stuff like that. But at the same time, that's why I wanted to be at Essendon. And that's why I request a trade here. It's, they get to be part of that, you know, part of the biggest, biggest events in footy throughout the regular season and, and the next step for us as a club was to take that into September and, and do that. So Most um, that's the goal for us, as, as I kind of alluded to before, is, is to now take that into into September. I love it. I love it. One thing that I was chatting to like some of the uh, the Frio guys so like back end of last year when I did the Ironman stuff and then that night when I finished the race, I could not I could not sleep till like three or four in the morning just from the buzz and the excitement yeah. of staff and then when I was talking to them about it, they're like, oh yeah, we get that like, that. that's like most pretty much <laughs> after a game, that's what happens, which... I had not like, you know, I train a bunch of you guys and we talk about also no one's never mentioned that to me. That must be on another level when, you know, you're playing in, in front of the massive crowds with uh, with Essendon. How do you yeah. wind down? Is that the same with you? Can you not sleep for the rest of the night? Hundred percent, mate. I I absolutely struggle to sleep post game yeah. almost almost regardless of what time that I finish the game. 
Yeah, but it, it obviously it obviously highlighted even more in night games. I, I, could, I won't get to sleep till four a.m. or something it's like crazy. that. Sometimes the next night. I, I just had no idea so, that, that that was like an yeah. every week thing for you guys. That's so crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a definite thing, um, and oh, there's, there's, there's probably for me there's probably a lot of things, and I'm, I'm sure it's probably similar to a couple other players as well, or many other players. But um, caffeine before a game, like a coffee or anything like that, obviously, especially if it's a night game, that that keeps you buzzing. Then you've got obviously the adrenaline as well. Um, plus, you know, like you you're still trying to wind down. You know, in the night games especially, like you, you might finish by what 10, 30, 11 o'clock. At the game itself, you know, ten thirty, and then like for the next hour, hour or so, you you probably you know you're recovering, you're doing showering, ice baths, stretching, all that type of stuff that we do post game. Still takes another you know another half hour yeah, to an hour to get home forever. after the game. Then you might have something to eat and dinner and stuff. So it's there's lots of stuff you do after a game, um, and then obviously you finally wind it, you know, try and wind down before bed. But for me, I've just got too much bloody. Too much excitement, yeah. too much uh, caffeine, and, and thinking and a whole about bunch of stuff, and you're replaying you think, stuff. Yeah, correct. And... and that's another another point. That's a, that's another great point there, mate, as well. Is that yeah, you're thinking about the game. Like, could I have done better? Did I play really well? Was I happy, excited with how I played, or you know, did I play not so well? And thinking about the mistakes or something like that. Like, it's just a natural human thing to think about stuff like that. So your your brain is just just going and going and going sometimes. So yeah, as as you as you kind of as you kind of found that it's. It can be challenging, can't it? Like you might just sitting there, like why? You can't do anything. Night, you can't sleep. I'm nah, just lo- staring at the ceiling, just being yeah. like, "What the hell do I do?" And I could not imagine doing that every <laughs> week. Like that is just, it's just absolutely wild. So yeah, yeah crazy it's to pretty, me. It is, it is tough. It is tough. You, you do kind of get used to it, but I suppose at the same time, it's. I think you kind of just get used to not sleeping that well after games, I suppose. Yeah, so. most definitely. Yeah. And obviously your family as well, massive football family. You've got your younger brother um, that's uh, that's uh, doing really well uh, over at North. How's, how's all that yeah. been? And your sister as well. Uh, she, she's at Port, yeah? Uh, she, yeah, she was at Port. She's now at Carlton. So, great, great. Um, she's done She's done similar to me, moved as well. Um, yeah, they're both going well. It's, all, it's good to have our family back all together in the same state. Uh, it's fantastic. I've had a couple of good dinners with with Zane and Yazzie. They've come over. We catch up quite often. Um, I've had my family, uh, my other family, mum and dad, and my youngest brother Willem come up to my house. Probably too much. So I'm getting kind of sick of them now at the minute. But uh, <laughs> they come to my place too much. But uh, yeah, no, it's been good. I'm, I'm I'm enjoying seeing them a lot more and being around the rest of the family a lot more as well. So um, yeah, they're going they're going well respectively, uh, which is good. So I love it. hopefully they can continue it and. Yeah, it's good. It's good to be back home with the family. Most definitely, man. So good. Well, uh, obviously, really good luck with uh, the next sort of four or five weeks and getting the the uh, quad ready. And can't wait to see you back out there. It's been so good watching all the highlights and just you know seeing you enjoy it and um, you know just doing your thing, which is awesome. And uh, I love the fact that you have to come back to Perth for a couple of weeks, definitely every off season because your yep. um, your beautiful girlfriend uh, lives over here. Uh, Correct. And um, yeah, we get to get to do a couple of weeks uh, weather stuff, which is uh, always good fun. So looking forward. Correct. To that again in the off season. Correct, mate. I'll be I'll be there again. I think we're there. I've got my girlfriend. She's working from home, just uh, just beside me here. Just I think grinding. We're back. She's grinding, grinding away. I think we're back for Christmas. Is that right? So we're back for Excellent. that around the Christmas period for a week and a half or two weeks around then. So I'll uh, I'll be booking in ahead of time mate, for a couple of a uh, couple of body magic uh, upper body cross sessions. Yeah, where a little I'll bit probably, of a tune up. I'll probably get broken again. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. (laughs) So good, so good. Well, uh, love your work, mate. Thanks so much for uh, being on Fat Chat and good luck for the next few weeks. Thanks, Jared. Appreciate it, mate. Look after yourself as well. Thank you.